Well, here we are. Week three. One moment, please. Why is this so hard to get off? It has been an interesting week. I am not gonna lie. I woke up yesterday and I felt so blue. I couldn't even get out of bed. I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? I think sometimes it can be overwhelming. You have to get up every morning and decide to be this musician and decide that you have this goal and you're you're just trying to figure out how to do it. Sometimes you're just like, I don't want to do it. Fuck it. So I think it's always interesting when you're having a really bad day and I sort of believe that messages just start to flow in. And I had this book called Springboard just sitting in my apartment for six weeks, haven't picked it up. And then yesterday, after ordering a pizza and just drinking beer by myself, I picked this book up, and the whole first chapter was literally defining what is your idea of success anyway. And I think that's so important, especially in music, because music is changing so much, and so really clarifying in your life what does success mean to you. We all view success so differently. They do this thing where it's called the six lives exercise, and you actually read through each one, and you have to rank which one feels the most successful to you. And then I also watched a video yesterday was talking about how Van Gogh, Gogh, Van Gogh, I was saying it wrong. I was saying Van Gogh, but it's Van Gogh, might not be that. How he basically painted his whole life with no likes. There's this idea that he created because he had to and that there was actually this other thing that was said in the video. There's this word called autotelic. When the experience is autotelic, the person is paying attention to the activity for its own sake. That's talking about flow and creativity and how do you strive and reach for these autotelic experiences as opposed to experiences that are for validation. So my main focus for this past week has been around what we'll call social media. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with social media. It makes me be on my phone and computer. But the truth is, is the future belongs to those who have people that really appreciate their art and what they're trying to do. I've always thought, you know, distribution of my music is the hardest part, and I'm okay that 20 people might not like it, but there's maybe one person that will, and social media is a really great way of figuring out who, who maybe will like it, and growing that audience quickly and growing that around the world. In order to mitigate social media time on the old web roo and the phone, I got a Fitbit. And this is great because I like walking every day and I bring my phone with me and this is allowing for complete spontaneity in my walks to just think about nothing and let inspiration strike. I'm dressed like this because I'm going to be releasing one song that I've had produced every month using the funds that I'm getting from Patreon in different genres and this genre is sort of this film noir genre. Here you can see a little clip right here. February. It's amazing what a little makeup will do. I went to the Mac store and told them I didn't know how to use makeup and they gave me this. If I didn't work from home, I would probably be dressed like this more often. But instead I just wear pajamas. And my other goal for this week is networking. I come from a tech marketing background, so I actually know a lot of people in creative fields, graphic design, marketing, video, and I need to know more DJs. The DJs are where it's at, because I like singing electronic music. They probably have some sort of idea how I can get on stage. And I'm not even calling it networking, I'm calling it hanging out with cool people, because I need to find my peeps. I realized that waking up yesterday being sad, I think was about feeling really isolated in the process and feeling like, why why do I do art anyway? Or like, why, why am I trying? And finding my people is gonna be a big part of that. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. We're on week three. I feel that much closer to the goal. I'm feeling better. I've learned as an artist to just appreciate those sort of sadder, sadder, more sad days because that's where a lot of the inspiration comes from. That's where I did write two very sad songs yesterday. So, today I'm gonna sing part of a cover of Falling Slowly from the movie Once, if you haven't seen it, it's so good. I don't know you, but I want you all the more for that. Words fall through
will play themselves out Take this sinking boat and point it home we still got time Raise your hopeful voice You have a choice You've made it known Just a little glimpse. And if you haven't seen that movie, you should see it because it's amazing. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Week four, people! <laughs>